<laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This evening, I was gonna set out, do a little bit of shed hunting, you know, just have a good evening, be out in the woods. It's been probably 15 minutes since I've been out here. I haven't even started the video yet. I was just walking through one of the bedding areas and right up ahead, I think I see a shed. I think it's my first shed of the year. So you guys are gonna walk up to this shed with me in real time, my first shed of the year. I think it's a shed. It's a shed. <laughs> dude this gets me so jacked up this gets me i feel like this makes me even more jacked up like for hunting because i know this deer is still alive here let's go dude oh. you ready <laughs> here we go let's walk up here and pick this thing up dude first shed <laughs> dude that is stinking awesome so this is last year's shed definitely last year's shed but oh my gosh that is the first one of the year and i could not be more stoked even if it is last year's i'd love to find a fresh shed but i mean it's shoot up a little bit but that is my first shit of the year, dude. Let's go. I am freaking pumped. That is awesome. I'm so glad that I came back here this evening. I am <laughs> Let's go. I am jacked. So basically what I was gonna do this evening is just kind of walk some bedding areas. I know a lot of the deer probably still have their antlers. I've actually, I actually know that for a fact because this morning I saw one of the bucks that me and Emily had had on camera. Um, he actually was still holding. He was out in the field with probably eight or nine does. I'm not trying to push into some of my best spots because I don't want to bump deer out so they shed on other properties. Just thought I'd come into some of these closer properties, um, just some of the edges of the bedding area, just where they travel to food. And just check. It paid off. It's last year's shed, but I mean, I'm still as excited if it was a fresh shed. So let's continue this journey. You guys are coming along with me. We're just gonna kind of zigzag back and forth. That's the game plan. And uh, see what we see. This is awesome. This is so stinking awesome. I hope you guys can feel my excitement through the camera because I am stoked. I am so excited. I'm actually gonna walk around this spot a little bit longer, try to find the other side of this shed if it's still here. That's a good start. First 15 minutes, got our first shed. <laughs> Well guys, we are out here on another shed hunting trip. Just a quick one this evening. We're gonna walk around through some thickets, through some sage grass, and uh, just see what we can see. Hopefully stumble upon a shed. That is what I'm hoping. Just gonna have some fun this evening, and uh, you guys are gonna tag along with me. So let's see what we can see. We're just gonna zigzag back and forth. That's the best tactic I know. I've never scouted this spot before. And we'll see if we walk upon a shed. This spot looks really good. Um, so it's just gonna take some walking, a little bit of exercise, and just cover some ground. <laughs> You've gotta be kidding me. I have been walking and walking and walking this evening. I mean, just through thickets, through this sage, just heavy trails, heavy trails. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. If you can't tell, I'm freaking stoked. Oh my gosh. Look, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, God. Oh, dude, I'm jacked. Where's the other side? That is so fresh. That is so fresh. You can still see like the skin line right around that. 
No way. No freaking way. Thank you, God. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. I knew, I knew if I kept walking around, just taking my time searching and uh, just covering as much ground as possible, I would sooner or later walk upon a shed. This is definitely my biggest public land shed that I've ever found. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you Lord, that is awesome. That is... <laughs> Couldn't be done on a more pretty evening. Just laying right there. Just laying just like that. Well, I guess now I'm gonna zigzag all this and try to find the other side. Maybe get a match set. That would be awesome. Well, welcome to shed season 2021. Off to a heck of a start. Well, that was a stinking heck of an evening. Just one shed, but oh my gosh, I couldn't be more excited. This is by far the freshest and biggest public land shed that I have ever found. This is the first time I've ever came and scouted this ground too, which is, <laughs> it is awesome. That is so awesome. Just zigzagging back and forth, just through thickets, just the thickest stuff I could find, just that grass, sage grass, all that stuff, and just walking back and forth and back and forth. And we came out with one of my best public land finds. I'm gonna go back and search that spot for the other side of this. If I can find the other side and have a match set, that would be awesome. That would be so cool, I would freak out. I'd literally probably start crying. But I guess I'll catch you guys either tomorrow or on the next shed hunt whenever I go back out. But we're definitely gonna be back here looking for the other side of this absolute stinking awesome public land buck. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> So it's the next day after I found that awesome shed the day before and uh, I'm on another piece of public ground. We're just going through thickets, um, bedding areas, trails, all that stuff, just like I was doing yesterday. And I think I might've stumbled upon my first shed. It's either that or a rib bone. It's not a huge shed, but it's definitely a bone. So let's check this thing out. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> it is a shed. <laughs> We got a little dink shed. <laughs> it's got a little bit of chewing on the tip. <laughs> that is awesome. It just, it makes it so much better finding these sheds on public ground. Like it's so, like it's awesome finding a shed in general, but when you find it on unscouted public ground that anybody can walk on and just go into the right spots, just getting rewarded with sheds. It just, it's just a feeling like no other. I absolutely love it. So. We got one. Now, I'm just gonna zigzag the rest of this all through this section right here. Just going back and forth. There's a ton of good trails. I'm just gonna see what we see. The sun's going down right there. It's a beautiful evening. It's like 60 degrees right now. We're gonna see if we can't get our hands on a freshie, a good shed from this year. If we do run out of daylight, I'm probably gonna come back to this same spot tomorrow and finish up the last little bit of this. I'm just zigzagging, just real tight, um, straight lines going through this and Onyx is helping. This is not like a sponsorship sort of thing. They do help me out, but I'm just letting you guys know. Putting on the tracking device that Onyx has, it just really helps you check off spots that you've been looking. It shows you the trails that you've been walking. It just really helps you find sheds. I mean, two sheds, two days. I say that's doing pretty good on public ground. <sighs> that's awesome. About an hour or so has passed since I found the first shed of the evening. And I'm about halfway through the section that I wanted to check. The upper section um, i already looked through the the lower section and there wasn't anything i saw a ton of trails ton of good sign but no sheds i guess i'm probably gonna look for another 30 more minutes and then call it an evening i don't want to start rushing and missing a bunch of spots that i'd like to look I just want to take my time walk slow because that's really when you find the sheds it's just taking your time stopping looking around because they're so easy to walk past. I'm gonna give it a go for another 30 minutes and uh, we're gonna dip on out of here. Head back to the house. <laughs> oh, we found what we were looking for. It's not huge, 
but it's a good shed. <laughs> Let's go. Just as the light was fading, I was about to not even look on this hillside. And we've got a decent shed. Take a look at this. Let's go. <laughs> yes. He's still got the wax ring around it too. That is number two for the day. Let's go. Heck yes. Let's see if we can find the other one before it gets too dark. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Let's go. This is my shed dance. I just found a shed. Yes. All right, I'm gonna jump down in here <laughs> and see if I can't find this other shed. Thank you, God, let's go. Two sheds, public ground here in Virginia. I'm freaking jacked, let's go. All right, enough talking, we gotta find this thing. Well, I guess today is gonna be checked off for another good public land shed day. I cannot believe I found this one. I'm stoked for this shed right here. I mean, I wasn't even gonna go over to that side and just got an urge to walk over there. Just, it was the end of the night. One more spot to check off. I didn't finish the whole entire hillside like I wanted to, but we definitely got a good start on it. We probably have another 100 yards or so to zigzag back and forth, but I couldn't be more happy with this shed. That was awesome. The wax ring is still right around it. Still a pretty fresh shed. Um, I'm gonna go back, try to find the other side to this because that would be awesome. Now I have two sheds that I need to find the other side to. So we got our work cut out for us, but hey, shed season has started. a new day and sadly after probably 12 to 15 miles of looking for the two sides this big public land shed right here and this shed right here I was really wanting to find a match set and you know I've logged the miles I've hiked and hiked and hiked looked as much as I possibly could and wasn't able to match up the other sides to these antlers sometimes you get lucky you find them right beside each other or maybe 20 yards apart but in this case I don't know where the heck the other side to these antlers are. I really wanted to find the other side to this antler right here, but it just did not happen. I mean, you get that. You can hike as much as you want and you, you might not find the other side. They could have dropped it on the other side of the mountain. You just never know. But still, those are public land sheds. Anybody can go out there and find those sheds. That's what I think is so cool. It's still really fun finding them on private land, but when you go out and you're scouting ground that anybody can hunt, just public land back in the mountains. I mean, pretty much what I do is I go on Onyx, find a spot that I wanna search, and then go there. Just pretty much mark spots that I wanna check off, hike to those waypoints that I set, and just zigzag back and forth, and really just try to find deer sign. That's the biggest thing. Deer trails, beds, anything like that. And you know, sometimes you get lucky and you find a shed like this. This is by far my biggest public land shed, and <laughs> It's just, when I walked up on it, as you could tell in my reaction, I was beyond astonished just by finding it. I knew it was a really, really good spot, but just being able to go in there and you know, you put in the hours, you put in the time, hiking around, logging miles. It just makes all that hiking and the effort that you put in really pay off. That is gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me running around, finding public land sheds. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a huge thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys' support. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Love y'all!